Hi, this is the uh, one of the remote control flying machines that uh, I'm introducing new on my channel. It's the uh, UAV science drone. And uh, I'm still getting used to flying this. I've not perfected it yet, but let's give it a shot. I'm going to have to try to land it. There we go. Land it a little bit far away. I bet I'm going to go try to retrieve it. Like I said, I've only flown this drone probably two or three times. And uh, it's a good drone flies really well I just haven't figured out how to uh, completely control it yet and it went down up here I'll try to cut through this way there it is Take it back to the uh, flight table. Looks like it's still in good, pretty good shape. Got the word science. UAV. Okay, we're almost there. Then I'll discuss a little of the uh, specs for this remote control drone. Okay, get situated here. Okay, the, uh, the drone is, uh, like I said, it's a really good drone, uh, and, but uh, the specs on it are flight time on a full charge battery is about six minutes. Um, its maximum speed is 10 and a half miles per hour. Its minimum speed is 5 miles per hour. The maximum altitude it can reach before going out of range is 131 feet or 39.93 meters. Maximum distance 
it can reach is 147 feet or 45 meters. So it's a really uh, it's a really good drone, uh, but it's simple. It doesn't have a camera, uh, and uh, so it's got nab lights underneath. It comes with extra propellers uh, and everything you need to repair the uh, drone in case it crashes and damages itself but uh, and it's 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 really affordable too because this drone uh, I bought from a hobby store for only like 30 bucks so $30 you can get a nice drone uh, like I said it takes some time to figure out how to fly it but I'll get there so I highly recommend this one the UAV science drone aircraft thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time